WHEE 6 on your side legal analyst Greg Isaacs is with us now to talk about the case that went before the U.S. Supreme Court yesterday. Greg, thank you for being here. It's good to be here, Lori. This case is called California versus Texas. It's a challenge to the Affordable Care Act, something we keep seeing. Explain how that works. Lori, the Affordable Care Act was uh, enacted in 2010. Ever since then, it has been under attack. Uh, went to the Supreme Court in 2012, uh, modified by Republican Congress in 2017. Uh, briefly, what did it do? It offered coverage, universal coverage, for people with pre-existing conditions, mm -hmm. children with pre-existing conditions, uh, for people, uh, gender equality, you couldn't, uh, charge females more because they would get pregnant for insurance coverage. Mm -hmm. uh, young people, 26 year old, had to be offered coverage even if they were not students. Uh, also a big focus was preventative medicine. Uh, under the theory that it made everyone's health care costs go down, but the, the center to piece to the legislation yeah. that has been under attack is the mandate. Everyone was supposed to have insurance. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, uh, you were charged a fine or penalty or tax of $700 or a percentage of your household income. And Lori, that is before the Supreme Court as we speak. Okay, so here's our next question. We don't know how the justices were ruled, but can we get any clues from what we heard yesterday? You know, the bench was very active yeah. and you had Roberts, a conservative, you had Kavanaugh, the second Trump appointee, mm -hmm. really grilling uh, the attorney, the solicitor, as they're called, uh, for the government. And what uh, they're trying to say is the mandate is unconstitutional, therefore the entire Affordable Care Act should be unconstitutional. Lori, draconian consequences if mm -hmm. the Supreme Court struck the entire act down, uh, 136 million people with pre-existing conditions would lose coverage, wow. 20 million others would lose coverage. But, but the Supreme Court just, just kind of scoffed at that argument. They said in 2017, a Republican Congress changed the penalty for not having insurance from $700 mm -hmm. to zero. Uh, and if that's unconstitutional, because one of the reasons they justified uh, penalizing people for not having it was the power to tax, mm -hmm. uh, they said under the doctrine of sever severability, and what's that mean? Very simple. Part of an act is unconstitutional, we simply exit out, mm -hmm. everything else is fine. And it was interesting because Kavanaugh, the Trump appointee, said, you know, this is longstanding Supreme Court president, the doctrine of severability. If there's a problem, it does not impact the entire act. Interesting. And he said, in looking at what the Congress d uh, did in 2017, they could have uh, modified the entire act. We think you wanted us to be the bad guys. Hmm. and strike the act and Kavanaugh very clearly looking at the government's lawyer said that's not our job. Wow. Very lively bench. Yeah. All right. We'll keep watching. It's going to be interesting. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. If you have a question for Greg, just send an email to askisaacs at wate.com and be sure to tune in to WATE 6 on your side news at 530 every Wednesday. He just may answer your legal question.